In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps of editing uh, styles uh, in this section content. So I'm in the make.powerpages uh, interface. I click on new page and I name this page as say, maybe call as portfolio. So that's my portfolio page. I start from blank, I click on add, and this is my new layout. So this is how my web page looks like. Uh, ignore about the header and the footer, how it is placed. I was just doing some random research. Uh, now, I when I click on plus, I see something called as an add a section. Okay, so let me first remove the section. So how do you remove a section? Is you highlight a section, click on this meatball icon, and then click delete. So the section is deleted. Uh, how do you add a section? You click on this plus icon, and then you say add a section and you select one column okay so this is a one column section so the thing which you see over here is one column uh what if i want to change it to two column i click here i say change it to two column so now it's a two column layout let me add another section with a three column layout see how it looks so a section with a three column layout section with a two column layout and let me add an, another section with a maybe one third right so so if you see here uh, there's a two third component on the left and one third component on the right uh, what if i want this section to be moved <clears throat> okay so i can if i click on move down the section will get moved down and this section will move up see what happens uh, again, uh, if I want to move some component up, so if if this is a section, uh, and if I want to move this component up, I can move this here. Okay, so I have so many sections created, uh, all of different nature. Um, now, uh, there is another component to it in a section. So if I click on add a section, I, I can add something called as a spacer. So I can add something spacer between the sections. So, if I click on spacer, uh, spacer is just like a like a height of line which gets added into the layout. Uh, now, what I can do with this uh, spacer is I can duplicate it. I can move up, move down, like what I showed you, like the sections, and I can delete it. So let me duplicate this section, and I take this section, the second one, and then move down. Okay. So now I have two spaces, one spacer here, one spacer here. Let me edit the background. Uh, I'll put the background as, say, maybe this color. And here I'll make this background as this color. So I have two spaces now. Now let me duplicate again a uh, couple of more times. Uh, and then I can uh, move this section down. Now instead of moving, let me see if I can drag and drop. Yes, I can drag and drop. Uh, so I can drag and drop beyond this let me put the last spacer uh, as maybe say color red okay now apart from uh, changing the spacer color i can add a background as well so instead of putting a solid color i can select an image for this background so uh, maybe i have something uh, some image created over here let me add say some some random image over here and now this becomes a background of that spacer for that section okay so enough about spacer let's go into the <coughs> uh, into the section now what we can do in a section so in section we can add a text okay so this is an, so this is a text which i have added uh, i can uh, center line this uh, i can uh, duplicate this so I'm duplicating this text so that I can uh, put this text across various components. so I'm just dragging drop dragging and dropping this text okay uh, okay so this is uh, this three text has been not been dragged and dropped now what we can do with this section is uh, now let's focus on this section for a moment uh, I can do an edit background okay so i edit the background i can put some solid colors now the solid color might not look nice so maybe i have uh, an option to select an image i add an image i put some gradient image and see how it looks now let me preview this first and see how it looks 
so once i preview this uh, it might take a while to load uh, and this is how it looks okay so uh, let me add another gradient color uh, so let me remove this space uh, for a moment or maybe i just change the background to say blue okay now i'm in this section the middle one i edit the background i select the image and add an image i see and this is how my section looks like uh, let me again preview it and see how it looks it's, the changes are not propagated yeah i need to sync it and then once it is synced and saved the changes will get reflected in the site <clears throat> yeah so the changes are reflected now what are the other options uh, in a section so in a section i can uh, i can do something called as a design so in design i can put some overlay on top of the background so if i click on the color and if i select the overlay as a red for time being okay and watch what happens to this design in the background so it adds a, a hint of red on top of the existing gradient now i can put say color overlay of 28 or maybe if i just want to make this as black okay so 100 percent is black but then if you put say maybe 20 25 percent uh, it will uh, look something different uh, I, I i have an option to select a border okay let me take the border value as white okay and if i see this component so it is seven i make this border as say 60 or maybe 30 okay so this is how it looks uh what about the corner radius now focus on this component so this part is the corner radius see how it looks now it, it gives like a bit of curve look uh, to the section uh some of the components gets uh, cut over here that's fine i'll show you how to uh, counter that okay so uh, again sync this see how it looks so this is how uh, <clears throat> this looks like you know you see a curve over here and, um, and this design looks pretty much good okay now this section uh, in this section there is an another an option to uh, control the height now the height is all set to auto now we have something called as a column margin so this is column margin uh, if, if I say column margin as say maybe 100 and if I click on OK, see what happens. Okay, uh, it has uh, added a margin of 100 everywhere. Now, if I select column padding and if I put column padding as 50, watch what happens oh, in this X in this part. It adds a padding component. It adds a padding component. Um, to the ui uh, and if i put a column spacing component so space watch out for the space if i put space as 80 uh, it, it adds uh, a bit of space and and your design looks nice okay uh, other thing which i want to show you is uh, about say what if you add an image over here so if i add an image and if I pick, say, any image, say, if I pick this image, okay. Oh, just going up. Okay, so this is how I added image. I can adjust the size of an image. I can make this center line. Uh, I can do some designing on top of it. If I want to put a shadow on top of the image, shadow onto the image, I'll see what happens. How the shadow looks uh, again i think i moved on to a different page uh, okay let me come back to this page again 
uh, I was here, I was uh, uh, doing some shadowing thing. Uh, I put a border around it. I want a border of around maybe just to show you how the border looks like. Say the border is red, it will look like this. Okay. And uh, if I put a corner radius, watch what happens. Okay, so it, it, it adds that corner radius everywhere, you know, even within the image border as well as on the, uh, the, the shadow border. Okay, so this is how it looks. Um, and, and again, you can duplicate this component three times and then you can move across uh, to different areas. So I'm just dragging and dropping this image. This is how you uh, work on the section. So a lot of great features available within uh, the section part. Uh, uh, you can again change the layout from here. You can make this three or two column layout. So if I make this as two column layout, uh, this is how it will look. Uh, if I make it three column layout, this is uh, how it will look. Okay. Uh, again, it, it didn't retain the size. Maybe I'll just uh, drag and drop this text again um, over here and that restores this original shape and form. Uh, I'll send this, I'll watch uh, the changes when getting propagated and this is how it may look uh, once it is loaded. So yeah. Uh, there are a lot of options to choose from uh, when you do a section so i would require you guys to uh, play around with the section and uh, see what best design you can come across i know this design is not good but uh, i just wanted you to showcase the curving component of the section curving component of the image and uh, options you can uh, play around with the image now if you are in a section and if you <coughs> want to edit the background and if you want, if you think that oh, you don't want that uh, uh, gradient background, I want a solid color. Uh, see what happens. You can't change that to solid color until and unless you delete the image. So I selected this color, but still it is not applied. I go to image, I remove it, and then watch what happens. Okay. Uh, again, um, I, if I edit this section, okay, if I edit this section and edit background. I can select the image position. So see what happens in the background. Uh, if I select the image position, uh, I can uh, select all the nine areas uh, one by one. Uh, and the option for a background to fill is either it's original or scale to fill, scale to fit, or maybe tile size. So it all depends on the size of the image and where the focal point of that image is. So that's it, folks. That's how you play with the section component within the Power Pages. Thanks for watching.